All right, Courtney, I'll start. This is last time in Death Valley Saturday. Have you taken time to, to kind of reflect on that and, and think about it? I've been trying not to focus on that, uh, but at the same time, can't get it out of my head. I mean, this is my last time. Um, <clears throat> just enjoying it. I mean, I have. I think this year has been uh, it's, has been a good year for me so far. Uh, full of memories, you know, the little TV show thing that I do. I got a lot of memories I can look back to. So <laughs> I'm just enjoying it day by day. How'd that come about for you getting to do that little road trip? Oh, yeah, it's, it's coming out pretty good. The fans love it. You know, like I s said earlier, um, it's for the fans, you know, to let them see how we act amongst ourselves, you know. And a lot of, I've been getting some good feedback from it. How were you picked to do that? Was it? Uh, it wasn't actually a pick. I was just actually talking to uh, James Trapp, our team chaplain, <clears throat> and um, when I'm done with football, I would like to get off in the entertainment. And so we came up with the idea to do that, and we ran it by uh, the coaches and stuff. They said it was cool, and just started doing it. What kind of entertainment? Like entertainment tonight? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, whether it's acting or doing like voiceovers, cartoons. Because I'm, I'm full of voices and everything. I just like to have fun a lot of times. Uh -huh. So I figured with me doing this, it could help my resume out at the same time, show the fans how we are. So it kind of helped me help you. So What kind of voices do you do? Name some people. <laughs> <laughs> I made mixed uh, impressions too. But. <laughs> and you got TV watching it. <laughs> oh my God. I can do a couple of voices. Um, one of them is Elmo. Elmo? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. want to do the rest of your life, but go ahead. Um, okay. What do you want me to say? I don't know. What does Elmo say? Something about Sesame, Sesame Street or something, right? <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this, but okay. Um, <laughs> let me see. Wah, la, la, la. Wah, la, la, la. I'm a that's awesome. That's awesome. Do you do, yeah. do, you do any of the coaches? Uh, no, I don't. I'm really not good at coaches. He's it's fine. more so like animation <laughs> and stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah. Hollywood, here you come. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Look at that. I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, my God. You know you want to do one more. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Okay. I do cooking most. All right. Okay. Um, mm, yes, me love cookie, cookie. Yes, mm, see, it's for cookie. That's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. So, so now you're viral. Yeah. How come you haven't broken this out before now? Oh, a lot of my teammates. They know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they know. This is my first time actually doing it, okay. or whatever. You ever use that on the field? No. Hungry for quarterback. How do you no. think an offensive lineman would look at you if you started doing Elmo across from you? <laughs> they probably think I'm weird. <laughs> they go, what is wrong with this guy? But yeah, it's just something I've always done since I was little. Even friends back in high school, you know, be able to tell you, Courtney, he's animated, you know. So, why not do it for life? You know, mm -hmm. for a living, so. Yeah, when you look sure. back at it, is that game against North Carolina the highlight for you, the, the biggest memory that you'll have of Clemson, or is yeah. it something different? I believe that would be the biggest, you know, yet to come. Um, and besides that, my teammates from, you know, when we're in the dorm room or traveling or doing community service, Classrooms, you know, I have a good memory. I never forget none of those. Cherish every moment. Your wildest memory or wildest imagination? Did you ever imagine a game like the North Carolina game? <laughs> no, I, I. You didn't wake no. up one morning and say, "Yeah, I just dreamed that I did this." This. Now, I've dreamed of scoring touchdowns and maybe picking up a fumble recovery and you know and taking it to the house. Mm -hmm. But two in one game and an innocent. No, I, no, none of that. <laughs> so. I was like, I was just blessed, man. <clears throat> Do you kind of go back and look at that red shirt year 
you know, a couple of years ago. Maybe that wasn't something at the time that you wanted to do. But how has that helped you get to where you are today? Oh, it's helped out a lot. Uh, like you said, I at first I really didn't want to do it because I already played, and now I got to sit on the sideline and watch my team. But I mean, stuff happened for a reason, and <clears throat> I had to keep in mind that it was just temporary and make the best out of it. You know, whether it was me going out helping on a scout team, just keeping the sideline hype, you know, during the game or anything I could do to help, I just, I just had to do it. You know, and that really helped me get by. Facing a left-handed quarterback from a defensive line standpoint, does that change much for you? Nah, not really. The hands don't usually make a difference. To me, I prefer like a tall, slim quarterback. So <laughs> it's easy to get to. It's easy. easy Those to nifty, you know, short quarterbacks. I hate them, but. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it.